Hello, I am here at the chipping and pitching practice area of my club in Germany. But the real reason why I'm here right now is to show you how to use the scoring feature on the Garmin golf watch that I have here. For quite a while I used this watch only to measure distances to the flag. But it turns out that my first review of this Garmin watch was quite successful. So now I'm going to show one of the sub features which is how to keep score on this watch. If you like this video and this channel then please subscribe to it and uh, leave a comment. You can ask me what other things I should perhaps review. And if you want to give me a like, that's also always appreciated. Thank you very much. So let's continue now with this Garmin watch. So first of all, as always, you have to press this little button on the top right to leave the watch mode and to get into the golf mode. So then you get to play golf and you can see even here in the bright sun, the screen is visible quite nicely. Then as always, it will locate the satellites where you're playing. And um, if you've played on this course before, you just hit skip. But it immediately found the courses. Here I will select the Quellenhof because um, this club here has two 18-hole courses. One is called the Quellenhof and the other the Kapellenberg. It will then prompt me whether I want to play from the white tees or the yellow ones. My watch is set in German, so um, Gelb means yellow. I'll hit that. Now these are of course enormous lengths, but uh, that's because I'm not actually on the tee box. This is just for demonstration purposes to see how the scoring works. So what you have to do now is you press again the right button. And then you see start scoring, but you don't know yet which method of scoring you, you want to use. So what we do now is you, we press this right button for a long period of time. So not just a short press, but we keep it pressed for um, a second or two. What you then get is this screen here. And then you hit golf settings, scoring, so if you would press on scoring, you see this little right bar to the right of the word scoring is now gray, which means that it's not scoring. If you hit the word scoring, it will turn green, like so. But you still don't know which method of scoring you're actually using. To do that, you have to scroll down the screen by simply putting your finger on the screen and then moving the finger upward and then you get to scoring method. I now have stable forward. If I would press the scoring method, I can select between stroke play or stable forward. Let's go back to stable forward. Yeah, I went back to stable forward because stable forward is the common method that is used here among club players in, um, in Germany, at least Switzerland, Austria, maybe other parts of Europe as well because it takes into account not only your playing handicap, but also the difficulty of the course you're playing on. For those who have no idea what stable forward is, means rather than counting all the strokes and adding them up to a total number of strokes, you add up points. If you play a whole par according to your handicap, then you get two points. If you bogey the hole, it's one point. If you double bogey, it's zero points, and so on. And of course, if you make a birdie, you get three points for that hole. So in the end, if you have 36 points, then you've played your handicap on that course. Okay, let's get back to the watch. As I mentioned, each course has a certain difficulty, a certain rating, so your, so your personal handicap on a course may be higher or lower 
depending on the difficulty of the course. So to do that you have to toggle handicap scoring to on and if I hit that button I come to this screen and I will press local handicap and here is where you set whatever the local handicap is. So this is how it's done. Every course has these tables. Here I will um, look at my handicap and the yellow area because I'm, because I'm playing off the yellow tees. My handicap is 21 and as you can see on the right it gives me a playing handicap of 24. The course handicap here would be 24. So by pressing the plus sign, press the button to, on the right again, and I get back to um, the course, to the whole one. So as you may have seen from other videos that I made, this watch will now register your shots and count them. Manually you can correct those. It might be necessary once in a while. But at the end of a round, the watch will tell you exactly what your stable fold score is. And of course, will show you your overall result. That's actually a nice feature because if you play on your own, it's an easy way to show whether you're playing your handicap or not. If you're playing with buddies, the same thing. In a tournament, of course, someone else is keeping score, but it's um, <laughs> but it's good also for yourself to keep track of your success or also of your disastrous play, depending on the form you're in on that particular day. Well, I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. And now I'm going to practice some pitches across this um, bunker onto the green. By the way, an exercise that I learned from a guy that I really like called Mr. Short Game. <laughs> I don't know if he knows that I'm, I'm actually making propaganda for him, but he has such a nice and funny way of presenting uh, his tips and tricks of how to improve your golf. Anyway, so thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.